I'm Steve for This Week with Cars. In less than a week, I have to have this car ready for Ken to take this out to the Austin Healy Conclave out in California. I've been working on this car for years and I have yet to hear the engine run. That's because it is equipped with a special Chiroc supercharger as well as an array of special vintage rally equipment. So my goal today is to try to get the car running and get it finished up so that I can get it off to the Healy Conclave. First, I'll bring you up to speed with some of the things I've done since I last showed this car. The first thing you would notice that's changed since the last time I showed this car, I do have the fan mounted here now in front of the radiator. Some of the bonnet had to be trimmed in order to fit that. You can see the bonnet used to come out to here and all that need to be trimmed as well as a little spot for the motor there. And these needed to be pressed out slightly in order to clear the fan and the motor. Under the bonnet, I have most of everything hooked up. I don't have the boost gauge hooked up to the supercharger yet, but I do have all the oil lines run now. I have the spark plugs out at the moment. I don't remember what else you haven't seen, but this is the state of the engine bay right now. I have the radiator filled with just water until I can check for all the leaks. And I've put 12 quarts of oil into this engine. This car has a special oil pan that holds more oil. We have the oil filter out here that holds more oil. We have the oil cooler which holds more oil. And then of course all the lines that run in between everything are holding oil. So I've got 12 quarts into it right now. I'm not sure exactly how much oil this is going to take. So I have two things going on right now. I have the spark plugs out so that the engine cranks faster. I did actually have to change the starter earlier today because the starter went bad on this car. So I've got a new starter in it now. And it, this car has a mechanical fuel pump. So there is no fuel up here at the carburetor yet. So I have the float bowl taken off so that I can see when the fuel makes it to the carburetor. There is a filter here that we can watch from. And I have primed the pump, so I disconnected the fuel line from the other side of this filter regulator and dumped fuel down into the fuel pump. So I'm hoping that that will start pumping at some point. I also haven't seen any oil pressure yet, so that's the first step. I've got the spark plugs out so it cranks faster. Let's go pull the starter and see if we can build up any oil pressure. And if we don't within a few seconds, I'll come back out here. We'll check the oil level again, see if we need to add more oil. And we'll keep doing that until hopefully we see some pressure on the gauge. Okay, I'm gonna turn the master switch on. So you can see the, I think the ignition is working at the moment. And you saw the fuel gauge move over there. But for right now, all I wanna do is turn the engine over. So I'm gonna leave the ignition off and I'm going to pull the starter knob. We'll want to be watching right here to see if we develop any oil pressure. We didn't get any pressure on the gauge that time, so I'm going to check the level again because the, if the pump is running, it may be just circulating it through the system and we're running out as it's trying to fill the filter and the cooler and everything else. So I'm going to check the level and add another quart if I need to. It's pretty hard to see, but the oil level is in the middle of the full mark right now, so I'm going to add half a quart of oil and then we'll try it again. Also, I'm going to be checking the filter to see if we're getting any fuel up to the fuel filter when we've been cranking it. I don't see anything there yet either. Okay, let's try to crank it again. I think the pump is circulating oil, but I'm not sure. So to check, to see if it really is pumping oil, I'm going to take this line, which is the output from the oil filter off. Let's see if there's any oil in it. Okay, I don't see any oil here at all. This is where the oil should be flowing out of and back into the engine. Now I'm going to remove this line on the oil cooler. We'll see if there's any oil here. Okay, there's definitely oil in there. So we know that oil is being pumped out of the engine. It just hasn't pumped enough to circulate all the way through yet. Okay, I'm gonna leave the output disconnected so that I can watch and see when oil comes out of here. And I forgot to mention the supercharger also has an oil feed to it, so it is also drawing some oil out. I'm just gonna bump the starter from in here so that I can kill it quickly once the oil starts to flow. There we go. 
Now I'm gonna put this hose back on. Hopefully this time we'll see the oil pressure go up on the gauge. This is the one we're watching right here. This one is oil temperature. There we go, we're getting oil pressure. Looks like it's making about 95 PSI right now, cold. Now I'm gonna go check the oil level, make sure that's set correct. We have oil on that side of the engine, but we still don't have any fuel coming up on this side of the engine. So I'm gonna take off this hose, which is the hose that comes directly from the fuel pump up to this filter regulator. I wanna eliminate any problems with the carburetor or the regulator as being a cause of why there is no fuel coming up here yet. Now with this hose off, I'm gonna crank the engine over. Let's see if we can get any fuel to come out up here. Nothing's coming out as of yet. And I had to put fuel down this hose, so I don't think that the fuel pump is running. What I'm gonna try now is using my fluid evacuator. This will put a constant vacuum uh, on this hose here. So I'll take this hose, connect it up to this hose here, and I'm gonna to try to suck fuel through the fuel pump and up through this hose. I had one other thought. I'm gonna go take the fuel cap off just in case the fuel cap is creating a vacuum on the tank and that's the reason that the fuel pump can't pump fuel up here because it will be moving a lot of fuel here at first as it's filling everything up. I have the two hoses connected together. I'm gonna to turn my vacuum on. We see, there we go. Now we've got fuel coming up. Pretty good amount now. I'm gonna give the engine a short crank if the pump is working. We'll see a little bit of fuel come out. You can see that the pump had pumped twice there. So now I'm gonna hook it back up to the regulator filter and we'll see if it fills that up as well as the carburetor. We have fuel coming up through the filter and regulator now. Let's check the carburetor, see if we've gotten any fuel in there yet. Uh, the fuel bowl loose on the carburetor. We can take a look in there. Nothing yet, so we still need to crank it before we'll get any fuel up there. But I think I'll take a shortcut and just add some fuel to the fuel bowl now. That way we don't have to crank it so long. This fuel is colored purple because this is 110 octane leaded race fuel. Just get that poured into the fuel bowl there. We should see the float move up as the bowl fills up with fuel. There it goes. That's probably enough. I'll let the fuel pump fill up the rest and let the valve shut off when the fuel bowl is full. I have the cover back on the carburetor now. We know we have oil pressure, we know we have fuel, so I'm gonna put the spark plugs back in now. All right, let's turn the key on and see what happens. See if it starts or not. That sounded like it wanted to. Let's uh, try to give it a little bit of choke. See what happens. I'm gonna have to hold the choke cable out while I do this. There we go, it's running. That sounds quite a bit different than a normal Sprite, really. I don't know if it's the exhaust or the supercharger. But that is the first start for the Chirac Supercharged Sprite. It chokes all the way in. It is idling on its own now. I'm gonna turn it off and just take a look at everything. Right now 
I could smell the smell of everything burning off. Whenever you put together a new engine, it's always going to burn some grease and oil and paint and other things off of everything, especially the exhaust when you first fire it up. I don't see any leaks from anything right now. Doesn't look like we were leaking any fuel. There isn't any big puddles under the car. I don't think I saw the tack working. I'm not sure if I have that completely hooked up yet. There is a bunch more things yet to go. I haven't put any brake fluid into the brake or clutch master cylinders yet, so that is still left to do. There is a bunch more wiring left to do. You can see I don't have anything hooked up for the vacuum on the distributor yet. I still have to put together a system for that. I'll need to time the car and adjust the carburetor. I know I still need to tighten up the tie rods, and then I'll have to do an alignment and also align the steering wheel. And I'm sure there's a whole host of things that I've forgotten about that I still need to do. So I'm going to go make a list and then we'll start knocking these things off. See if we can get this sent out to California. Well, that's it for today. If you're planning on going to the Austin Healy Conclave, comment below and we'll start a roll call of viewers who are going to be there. And of course, if you want to see more videos like this, click a like on this video and click subscribe.